Yeah, it's a little off center, but you know what? It's fine. Hey there, Patapon saucepans, and everyone somewhere in between. I haven't recorded my video for Mega Man yet, so this might be a bit early, but I want to do it. I want to do this now, so we're going to do this now, and we're going to do it. Hi. Hey, how's it going? So, um, today we're going to pick a royal, and but before we do that, I want to talk about some things, so we're going to do that because might have noticed uh, for a little bit I've been wondering about the formatting about this I've been tinkering at things I've been wondering out loud right into the pages of Panapon about you know if there are things to improve how we can improve and all that nothing unusual and um so today is the start of the thing about where the first question I asked was Sometimes these videos get a bit long and also they kind of happen a little bit more infrequently than I would rather like I would rather we have them more often and so I asked what if I separate these into three individual events that happen after every game than after every three games and this is how we're starting this I'm probably gonna name this video slash this Patreon update like wheel I think it's 20 and then like royal and that's how it's gonna work like the next one's gonna be wheel 20 something and then there's gonna be wheel 20 pull and then because i still consider them single three unit blocks it's just that they're spread a little bit over time uh that is the way i am seeing this and how i'm kind of foresee this going forward i to me that just kind of makes sense uh, but we'll see how this goes but i think like i think that's a good idea so the majority of people agreed with me that they wanted either shorter videos and or more frequent videos. So, hey, it turns out we're going to get both of these happening here. Um, however, there, like I, I, I will point out some people have claimed, you no, know, they say they prefer the longer videos and I respect that. However, I've had enough of a majority to try to go for shorter ones that I, I feel comfortable at least giving it a shot. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna give it an honest try. And I, I just think it's 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 good to try things. So we are going to do that. By the way, um, this is useful because this gives me a lot more we leeway about moving things around because I can kind of change the order whenever I want. Like remember the last event how I had to bring out the flow chart because I want for every blocks to have a one advantage game, right? Turns out I don't need to have that weird complicated flowchart. There's a much simpler way of having that done. Just do my personal peg before the poll. And that's how we're going to do this going forward. Basically, it's going to be royal. Then my personal wacky hijinks, which can be anything. And basically, so in these two, if there is an advantage game that ends up being picked to be played, then we're gonna get a normal poll, and if there's not an advantage game, then we're gonna have an advantage poll for the poll. This is it. This is all I need to have in place in order to facilitate making sure that games with advantages actually get played, like once in every block of three games. Like, that's all. I don't need to do something super complicated. It's kind of funny sometimes I was just kind of too close to something and you don't think about it anymore, and it turns out like, no way. My solution is actually super simple. Well, there we go. There we go. I think that's going to work out. And like, so people were worried about these videos not be long enough. Check, uh, we're kind of getting in, like getting close to five minutes already. I feel like I'm always going to have things I want to say around these anyways. Like I doubt a video is ever going to be like super short. It might not be half an hour, but at least it's going to be a little bit of something. Uh, other thing I want to talk about, too, and that's something I asked on the Patreon, like, yesterday. Yesterday or before? Well, very recently. I think it was the day before. Um, where I asked about uh, the delay between when games get chosen and when they get actually played. In my head, I was all ready to just go full out, just, like, completely just... We're going to have any events. We're going to go through the, the the games that are already waiting. And then this is going to be, like, immediate. But it's true that that's kind of a bad idea. It was pointed out to me, sometimes both games can end really close to one another. Or a game can be really short. And so, 
that is a reason to cultivate a little bit of a backlog, a tiny little bit of backlog. And, you know, and I ask the opinion, and it appears that the majority of people do wish to have a small backlog, not a big one, but a small one. So here's how I think I'm going to do this. So right now we are in a situation with four games backlog. Like we've got, okay, it's like remove the game that I'm going to be playing soon. Uh, there's going to be Wahoo, there's going to be Wa, there's going to be Who, and then there's going to be a fourth game added in when today's uh, Royal that um, that's going to get picked is going to give me three games and I'm going to pick one of those. So we're going to be sitting at four. So this is how I'm going to gradually get us down. I want to be at two games on the coming up list. A lot of people are th was thinking three. I want to try to get to two, but we're not just going to like crash our way there. I'm going to keep having an event every time a game finishes, like we were planning. However, there are very often there are cases where two games finish like very close to one another, like sometimes days apart. But like if two games finish within like one or two day, uh, like one or two weeks from each other, that's when I'm going to skip an event. Where there's just not going to be a royal slash pole slash game to side. We're just gonna skip to. We're just gonna skip it. So we're gonna go from four games waiting to three games. And then at some point, that's going to happen again. Then we're going to go from three games to two games. And at that point, there's going to be an event every game. Stop my waiting. I think that's something that can work. If it turns out that this creates a situation where like, we're waiting after a poll and I hop into a game that turns out by surprise is really short, it's fine. I can find something quick to play that sort of like takes a, you know, that, that just kind of fills things up for, for a good fun. Like, there's several games I want to play that are pretty short. That's okay. Like, I'm I'm okay with sort of, like, um, operating around that uh, for the purpose of, you know, like, sometimes, like, a game gets picked up, and, like, it's pretty exciting, and you get hyped about it, but it turns out you're going to have to wait a little bit for it to show up. And sometimes it's the opposite. It's like, oh, there's a game that gets picked up, but you do not care about it. And then you kind of look at it coming up next, and it's like it's there. It's like, oh, that game is always there. Like, you want to get it done so that it's done, right? But I, I, I think that shortening the distance between a gaming pick and it being played is good, but I agree that a little bit of a delay is good, too. The majority, like a very significant major, majority of people seem to agree with this. So, yeah, I will, I won't just cut right down to it, but I will gradually, gradually shorten as, as the situation unfolds, the, the, the delay between games, just kind of like going from four games waiting to three to two, and I'm going to never go lower than two. I think it's just a smart thing. And besides, if I ever pick up a game that I know is really short, like, we can do a preemptive thing. Like, a preemptive event, too. Like, to make sure that it doesn't become an issue. Anyways, I feel like I'm starting to overthink, but now I put everyone sort of like... I, I put everyone on my same brain space that I am. That's what I'm thinking about, about doing. That's the way I'm seeing things going forward. With that said, things change frequently. I like tinkering with the systems until it becomes absolutely perfect. And we're kind of getting there. But I know a lot of you are just watching this to see if you are picked for the wheel. Sorry to make you wait. Here we go. Check it out. That wheel is spinning. I forgot to shuffle. Well, too bad. Uh, the winner is Morgan Mariana. Uh, you are not from Discord, you can tell by the ND. I mean, you might be on Discord and you never told me or I never made the association. But Morgan, get in touch with me, please. I keep hearing sounds, but it's just outside, so I don't know I'm freaking out. But anyway, yeah, please, 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 get in touch with me. I'm gonna give you a few days. If after a few days I don't get any news, I'm going to contact you. And, uh... uh Hopefully we get we honestly that's the thing though from from non discord people I had some of the most surprising picks so I'm I, I don't know what to expect and I'm looking forward to anything anyway spend enough time yammering 
which ironically some people would not complain about, which is always odd to think about. I'm somewhere. <laughs>